There's a water fountain outside. Okay. I thought it was like, you told me this uh, Otherwise, I don't think so. It's like by the bathroom, like right in front of it. I think there's like some coffee and water on it. It's kind of super dying. It's because you've been commentating for too long. I don't have my bag on me, so. I brought like three water bottles, but I don't remember where I put my bag. Oh, okay. God. Yeah. I do. Someone to pick you up, food. Fox Pop. Um, Marth Fox. I. Everybody says Fox Pop is the best. The best double steam. I still think Mark Fox is better. Well, that's just the thing that Mark is just like, mm, mm, mm. like a lot of people are just little Fox. And then there's also Peach. Peach Fox. It's the floaties. Nobody can kill floaties, but I. After after seeing Pew Pew U with all of his. Um, yeah, Pew Pew U is definitely making it possible. Yeah. But the fact that it's on, it's on top eight. Like, it has taken games off like Armada and Android and. Other good players, but it's not Xbox. consistent. That's, um, it's just like, a, just gives us an idea of how to approach the matchup. Because, you know, they're they're not at that level yet, so maybe once they do, they can get them to be a competitor. They might change the Mark Fox dynamic. Well, it might be more popular. Isn't Pew Fed considered like the best doubles team now? Um, I would say Armada Android is the best. Really? Yeah. Armada Android is who did who did Cupid play at the Evo Salty Suit for Double Slam? So I'm surprised I haven't seen a rest yet. Well you can't hide that, especially at this high level of Bro, I know um, I know KJH is good at Oh my god. Oh my god.
Martha. No, that was a good laser because the, the shoe would have pushed Martha up. But the problem is that Burrow didn't recognize the up and it's up beat. Oh yeah. I think he was trying to wait to grab the ice, but... That was a good tip for my problem. Oh, oh no! Oh, yeah. Why? I mean, that's free! Yeah, that counter was also free. Right. more team combos too because if there's anything that I've noticed from watching the past like five games is that it's all 1v1s on both sides and then someone gets thrown in the middle and comboed by everybody. Well that's what you need to do. Yeah. You need to like, right, you do more 2 v one. Like right there you're switching yeah. attention because you recognize that what goes on the platform and you would have enough time to really see start a team combo or avoid it. Or wow. Or the the side of the yeah. <laughs> Tipper fair kills by the way guys. I that for him. Especially against Bob. They're really struggling right now. Like, you need to have a, definitely a stock game right now. You need to have a game plan. Just like when they know who the target right now, or who to focus on, or what, who to switch targets to. You definitely need to have more communication. Because right now, it definitely should not be thugs with doing any oh, yeah. Or like more safer player for Bob. Ooh, really? there it is. What? Another thing I like to do when I was doing this is that if I know I'm doing that, I'm just gonna like, close. I'm gonna ignore the other person. Wow! Yo, the Tala by Pooch <laughs> on the slide saying that Rats is gonna miss. He's a lot closer. Wow. I and, like and how um, Rose is starting to lay back and let uh, Westfall's take a lead. Yeah. Before it seemed like Rose was doing a lot of pushing them to the ledge and letting let Westfall just stay in head. But if you have such a good time playing as an experience with Tifa, I would let them win. And just support them. Because it's easier to do that role for everyone to be like, I don't know what to go in. Yeah. One thing that I did notice in the beginning was exactly what you were God, saying. Yeah. Oh yeah, because they, they went to a game plan that actually worked, and now that Bro is actually starting to play a safe edge guard along with just letting the ice balls do this thing. West Balls. He's nuts. Show him what. Show him how you beat Mango. Has he beat Hungry Box yet? No, right? He almost beat him on the Hungry Box. He's beating him recently. I haven't kept up with him. I don't see like there's no reason to let to approach Pops. He has lasers. And he has a whole. Why? That's what I was saying. Sometimes he doesn't really stick to the game plan. Like that one time against Amrata, he got bored and approached and then just tossed him in the game. Like, even if it's boring, sometimes you just need to. Like, why is he just doing those full jumps? It's really dangerous. Yeah, and one one good aerial means that. I mean, that. it's probably because he has more variety and he, he's probably gamma on the fact that he probably tries to approach him. Basically, he's going to lead into there. But a trade means he loses. Yeah. And Prev has a great aerial back there. I know, he's just, he's playing with fire right now. Oh, shit. That was a really good, that was, he got, uh, I think, yeah. was going there to learn. Luckily, I was way that shot of shield, so the shyness, I learned to the fourth smash. And he wasn't dying out because he was holding down for the shyness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. See, the fact that they changed, changed the momentum that much once they, they, they stuck to that game plan, if they just stick from the game plan from the beginning, they can definitely win. They say you do a reverse trio. Yeah, I think they can do it. They can definitely do it. Ready? Go! Did he really? Oh, what? At least it wasn't grand finals. <laughs> Rip West Balls. Oh, and there it is. Same thing happened last game. He needs to recognize that Orbanus uh, right there. Westbrook is getting killed by those Fox. I actually mean, missed off the stage. So he needs to stay closer now and just cater to a little bit more. If you notice the uh, positioning of the road, it's more than the length of the Pokemon as they were approaching the other side of this. Yeah. yeah, that was a good point. But the fact is that Ever's supposed to learn Oh, no, no, no. What you need to do. What you need to allow KJ to have his wave. 
<laughs> you know, the other problem though is Puff needs to die. If they if they totally forget about Puff, then she's stuck at I think he should have just held ledge, waited for Fox to come at him, and did his West Ball shine. But he's also hurt by the fact that he's also going to be a brown shirt. There's not much Pro could have done in that position, though, because. Yeah. Uh, Another problem, though, is that, um, you know, if you don't team up, and you're, you seem to be the better man, they have that kind of touch, they're like, I need to do more work. That was a good grab, but I, I feel like Puff was not at a percentage to do anything. Well, I think uh, Russell's gonna have a frozen down a shine and lead to like another shine or keep him off the stage so he focus on Puff. Yeah. Well, Fox also had invincibility, right? I'm not quite sure. I just know he was off the right stage and his invincibility is important. You know what I also haven't noticed? Bro has never tried to save West Ball. That's really dangerous. Yeah, especially against a Fox and a Puff, you don't want to do that. But he did it once. It was on, uh, what was it, FD, right? Yeah. But that kind of works so many times. You're right. You don't want to lose two stocks. He's trying to just save the stock for West Coast. As you can see, he stocked it, stopped, can't get better if he has three stocks back. And then one good hit on Puff means they're off four stocks. Or three stocks. West Coast is dead. Yeah. West Coast trying to get there as fast as possible. Oh no! Wait, that was fair, right? Oh, I like the fact that he was trying to up the right there. Because if he didn't DI it up for me, he led to an error back here upstairs. Oh, the double shine. He's good up here. No! West Balls! I think that push took care of the ledge and he got the ledge. Yeah, oh. Throw red and then take it. Oh, oh my. Oh! Oh my Wow. I don't know what to say about that. That's, that was just poor. Was that fastball past legs? I didn't see that. But anyway, right now, they can just redo this. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah
Well, yeah, but West Falls knows. Uh, no. You can die really easy. No, oh, can. Really good. Oh, the dash attack. But you know, uh, Falco's especially have the habit of doing the yeah. land of the ledge. Or no. going in there. Well, that, and I think he actually got hit out of his side B. Because Falco's head has a really, really high hitbox. So you can actually dash attack them uh, right before they grab ledge. The hip, the hip, it's like the Falcon hitbox, but not as big. Ooh, good coverage. I don't know if I agree with any of Rose confirms though. Well, like I said, red team is just reading them so easily. Yes. Like, look at that. There's one. They're covering so many options. The blue team just... That's what they need. Because every time before a team, like, every, probably the grab, can the grab instead, but there was no way we have the follow-up to actually at 100%. But now that BGH is... It's, it seems to be lucky for grabs a lot more. And the fact that we recognize that, oh, you know, they're at low percent, probably better to let Abu take the stage and do the rest instead yeah. of me. I, don't, I haven't seen Abu really do much other than just cover an area. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's what it's a miss tech actually. It was a mix it was like a read of a mid mix <laughs> a miss tech. No. What? He got up too early! It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He can still make it back. That was so great showing by Good job Abu! I, I saw those rests. I was like, where are the rests? I was getting so bad. They came a little late, but we'll take it. They came at the end. Uh, you don't, yeah, I, I, missed, I missed the grab rest. No, no, I did. How did you do? How, like, what happened? No, I, he he missed I like the punish on, on on Falco recovering earlier, and I said.